Uh, we have three half an hour talks before before lunch, uh, and the first one is uh, in Kangren from 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 UCL. Please go ahead. Okay, thank you. Good morning, everyone. My name is Kang Ren, coming from Department of Mechanical Engineering uh, of UCL. Today, I will talk about the coupled free vibration of liquid in tanks with membrane or ice covers. Here are the outlines of my talk. First, I, I will give the background and motivations, uh, followed by the assumptions of the mathematical model uh, in my research. Then the, I will focus on the technical challenges uh, which need to be uh, addressed uh, in the research by providing an, uh, a detailed explanation where two cases, namely the coupled free vibration analysis in cylindrical tank and a cubic tank with elastic cover. At last, I will give the conclusions. One of the motivations is to understand, uh, is, is to enhance the understanding of the, um, the environmental uh, features and the sustainability in polar regions or cold regions. As shown in this sketch, uh, as shown in this illustration, the ocean environment uh, in polar regions is highly complex and dynamic. Uh, there are uh, winds, uh, currents, and waves, and uh, different forms of sea ice coexist in this system. Uh, in the past decades, there have been extensive studies and publications on this topic. In addition, there are many rivers and channels uh, will be frozen in cold winter. So the investigation of ice covered China is also a very, import, a very important topic. One of my previous work is on the modes of hydroelastic waves traveling in a channel or a wave tank. Without the elastic cover, the trans, the, the the transverse, uh, the trans, uh, sorry. The transverse modes are all coupled, uh, are all independent with with each other, and only one of these can travel along the channel only, or is. Can I carry on? I will carry on. One of my previous works on the ice covered channel um, studied the, the modes of the hydroelastic waves traveling in the uh, channel or the wave tank. Without uh, the elastic plate uh, covering the water surface, uh, the transverse modes are all independent with, with each other, and only one of these can travel along the channel uh, only, or its waveform 
does not change in the transverse direction. However, things will be, become very different uh, on ice covered channel as uh, uh, all the modes are coupled and uh, there is no wave can travel only in one single direction. In real nature, there are also some uh, frozen ponds, lakes, and reservoirs. And, uh, uh, similar, uh, and similarly, uh, some, there are some also, also uh, ice tanks are also very important facilities in, in the ex experimental study of the uh, sea wave structure interaction. These pictures shows the outer ice wave tank uh, in such a case, the water is confined in a, a finite space beneath the ice cover. Solution dynamics in tanks has a wide range of applications, such as the storage and the transportation of liquefied natural gas, uh, the tuned liquid damper in high-rise buildings, uh, fish in lakes, reservoirs, bays, and harbors, uh, anti-rolling tanks in ships and offshore structures, or liquid hydrogen in propellant container of spacecraft and wave tank labs. When the motions of the container and the liquid inside are synchronized, the energy of the container will transfer to the liquid and uh, with the energy of the uh, continuously, with the energy of the liquid uh, accumulates, and then its motion will become bigger and bigger. So resonance will occur. Resonance in the tanks may have adverse ad, uh, effects. For example, solution in propellant containers of space vehicles can cause instability. If we, we, if we cover the liquid surface with an elastic plate or membrane, then the motion of the weave will be coupled with the uh, vibration of the elastic cover. It can help shift the natural frequencies of the coupled system far away from the ex excitation frequencies uh, to avoid the occurrence of the resonance. Similar principles can also be used in LNG shipping, for example, by adding some uh, rigid or elastic baffles in LNG tanks. Here is the assumptions for the mathematical modeling. Uh, first, the velocity potential theory uh, is used, and the flow is governed by the Laplace equation. Then, small amplitude motions is assumed for linearization. Accordingly, linear elastic theory is adopted for the cover, uh, and there is no gap between elastic cover and the fluid. Last, apart from the elastic cover, all the surfaces of the tank are, assume, are, are assumed as rigid, uh, satisfying the impermeable con uh, boundary conditions. One of the technical challenges uh, which, which need to be addressed is how to wisely treat, uh, deal with the high order derivatives in the dynamic equations of the elastic cover. Here are the dynamics, uh, the dynamic equations for, for plate and for membrane are displayed here. We can find that in the, uh, the dynamic equation for plate there exists or there contains a fourth order mixed derivative of the deflection. Uh, well, in the equation for membrane, there is a second order mixed deter uh, derivative of the deflection. Here, L and T are respectively uh, flexural rigidity and, ten and tension. On the right hand side of these two equations, uh, P is the fluid pressure acting on the elastic cover, which can be obtained by the linearized Bernoulli equation. The kinematic equation of this interface is given as WT equals to phi Z. 
uh, when using both of these two equations, we can eliminate W and obtain the combination, uh, the combined condition at the interface here. Three common conditions for curved shape edge is given below. Uh, based on our previous uh, study for the ice covered channel, the effect of the different edge conditions uh, will have uh, uh, on the natural frequencies or the wave propagation is very evident. Therefore, the next technical challenge I, I wish to tackle or uh, I wish to tackle is to uh, develop a, a solution procedure to enable the enforcement of various edge conditions to become more convenient and uh, efficient. So the talks focused on the free vibration, where the liquid is set into motion by some initial disturbance and will continue oscillating on its own without further excitation. So when there is damping in this system, the oscillation will decay with time and finally stop. However, if no damping exists, then the oscillation will always exist at its natural modes. We can recall the two sources of the damping in wave problems. One is due to the wave radiation and the other is due to the viscosity. Here, because, we, uh, because the tank is a confined region, so there is no wave radiation. And uh, besides, uh, we adopted the inviscid flow and non-viscous plate model in our analysis. So there is no uh, vis uh, viscous damping either. Therefore, we can solve this, this kind of problems in frequency domain by writing the velocity potential and the deflection into these forms. Here, the I is imaginary unit and the omega is a natural frequency. We reconsidered the, a classic problem invested, invested, investigated by H.F. Bauer uh, for the coupled frequency, uh, coupled frequency of a liquid in a, a, a circular cylindrical tank with, ice, uh, with elastic cover. This paper was published in Journal of Sound and Vibration in 1995. Uh, by, visiting, by revisiting this paper, we found that uh, there, 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 there will have, uh, we can develop a more efficient uh, solution procedure to get the explicit equations for the natural frequencies. This led to a, journal, a GSV journal paper in 2021. In Bauer's work, uh, basophoria expansions is adopted, was adopted, and in our work, uh, two, uh, two analytical schemes based on basophoria expansions and vertical mode expansions are developed. Uh, for basophoria expansions, we, uh, I made the comparison between these two procedures together displayed in this table. For the velocity potential, uh, we adopted the similar expansions as Bauer's. For the cover deflection, major differences between, uh, exist between these two procedures. Bauer uh, expanded the deflection as two parts, uh, one double series plus one single series. The former is based on the uh, special solution for the in homo homogeneous equation, and the latter is based on the uh, general solution of the uh, homogeneous uh, equation. And they used two sets of eigenfunctions. Uh, the the eigenfunctions in the latter or in the one single series differs from that in the one. Uh, in the double series and in the velocity potential. In our procedure, we adopted the 
same type of expansions as the velocity potential. So by doing this, it is very much convenient to do the matching procedure on the interface. Uh, by using the orthogonality, uh, we can finally get a one-to-one -one relationship of the coefficients in velocity potential and current diffraction. On contrast, uh, in contrast, uh, Bauer, uh, when, when did the matching procedure on the interfaces, Bauer uh, used each element in the single series should be expanded into Basel series first. And uh, the unknowns are still coupled after using the orthogonality. Therefore, it, it leads the coefficient matrix of infinite size and the natural frequencies can be determined by uh, letting the determinant of the uh, truncated coefficient matrix being zero. In our procedure, the, we finally get a two by two uh, matrix equations. And therefore, the ex explicit equations can be easily obtained. As mentioned previously, dealing with the high order derivatives is, is challenging as uh, divergence will occur if not taken good care of. So if we expand the deflection as the base of uh, the Bessel Bessel series, how can we get the expansion for the Laplacian WN and by Laplacian WN? If we apply the operator Laplacian and by Laplacian directly to each term of the expansion of WN and then sum them up, the obtained infinite series usually become divergent. We may find some clues by comparing the, the Bessel series with the Fourier series, as it is well known that uh, Fourier series is not always differentiable, but integra integratable. So instead, we apply the integra integration by part to get the expression, to get the expansion of the Laplacian WN and by Laplacian WN. Here, I just give the final results of this without giving detailed uh, derivation. So matching the dynamic and kinematic conditions at the interface, we, will we, will, we can write the coefficient EM in the expansion of the deflection as a combination of two newly introduced unknowns at the edge. So by further uh, imposing the edge conditions, we can finally get a two by two matrix equations. <laughs> Explicit uh, equations for the natural frequencies uh, at clamped edge is listed below based on the Bessel Fourier expansions. Similarly, we can also get the ex explicit equations for the natural frequencies at various edge conditions uh, through vertical mode expansions. Here, I displayed the one corresponding to the clamped edge. By, care, uh, by, comparis, uh, by comparing these two equations, <coughs> we may find that they look very different in form. However, we have proved that they are in fact identical to each other by using the residue theorem. Here we construct a complex function f of alpha. And, uh, and then integrate this along the circle of infinite readers centered at the origin of the uh, complex plane. By using the residue theorem, we can get the summation of these two infinite series in the bracket equals to zero. So it is obviously uh, it is obvious that if one of these infinite series is zero, then the other one is also zero. This figure shows the regular points uh, from from the zero denominators. <clears throat> the results of natural frequencies are given here in figure one. The first 
for natural frequency against the different uh, water depths for various edge conditions are uh, given here. Uh, we also plot the Bauer's results for clamped edge uh, as black dashed lines for comparison and the very, uh, very excellent uh, agreement has, has been achieved. Uh, the results of the mode shapes is listed here. Uh, we denoted the mode as two numbers. N is the number of nodal diameters and uh, K is the number of the nodal circles. For example, in figure 2A, the N is zero, which means that the, the mode shape is axiometric and uh, the number of nodal circles is three. Now let's move to the cubic tank case. Uh, to emphasize this, the new challenges I have to uh, tackle, I made the comparison between these two cases. Uh, we can find that there is no coupling among different uh, uh, circumferential modes in circular cylindrical tank, while the modes are usually coupled in cubic tank. For the velocity potential, basophoric series are adopted in circular cylindrical tank, while double cosine series is adopted in cubic tank case. For the cover deflection, we use the same, the, the, we use the same type of expansions as the velocity potential. For, uh, and then we use the integration by part to derive the expansions of, uh, of high, or, uh, high order derivatives of the deflection as mentioned above. However, uh, integration by part cannot be used for the cub cubic tank case. Uh, therefore, we further uh, expand the, the, the cubic tank uh, case, uh, the deflection in the cubic tank as a summation of double cosine series uh, and for additional terms in each direction. Uh, for example, we use the polynomial functions in our work. So uh, different from the circular tank, circular cylindrical tank, uh, where the natural frequencies can be obtained by solving the e explicit equations. Uh, in cubic tank, uh, we have to uh, find the natural frequencies corresponding to the truncated coefficient being singular. Uh, it should be noted here that the calculating of determinant uh, directly becomes impractical when ma ma metric size become very large. So here we, uh, we judge whether the matrix is singular based on a Gaussian elimination algorithm. Here are some interesting findings. First, when there is no liquid beneath the elastic plate, the So first, when there is no liquid beneath the elastic plate, the rectangular plate is vibrating in the vacuum. So here, when we let the uh, rho equals to zero, then the present results with, will agree well with Lisa for the uh, vibration analysis of a rectangular plate. This can be used for verification. However, when, when we consider the rho approaches to zero, uh, we, we find that the results are not always identical to that uh, at rho equals to zero. Uh, finally, we find the reason. This is due to the assumption of the incompressible fluid, uh, which may be not valid for, for the case when rho e approaches to zero. So when the compressibility effect is included in our model, we replace the Laplace equation with the wave equation. Then the things be, uh, is solved, it resolved. And the two cases of rho approaches to zero and the rho equals to zero become identical. The natural frequencies of the cubic tank case is uh, given here, uh, which may be used to, for, for, for other researchers for 
uh, ver uh, verify their uh, results and the procedures. And here for the mode shapes, we also find that when the cover has uh, the same type of edges on its four, four sides, the natural modes can be further split into four uh, different uh, mode groups. Here in uh, figures three and four, I displayed the mode shapes with completely clamped edges in a square tank and a non-square tank respectively. Here, I also give the uh, corresponding values of the uh, natural frequencies and the, uh, the mode groups uh, this mode shape belongs to. So here comes the conclusions. For the circular cylindrical tank, <coughs> we made many uh, parametrical study as shown in figure five. We can find that increasing the liquid depths leads an increase of the natural frequency, but will uh, approach the limit very, very quickly. And the, the natural frequency is very much affected by the uh, flexural rigidity and mass per unit, uh, per, per, per unit area. <laughs> Here, increasing L and M leads to an increase of natural frequencies for all the three edges. Second, the natural frequency is independent to liquid density for free surface solution problem. However, this, this is different from here. Uh, we found that the natural frequencies of the coupling system uh, is very much dependent on the liquid density. Here we also have some conclusions uh, for the mode shapes and for the maximum principal strains as shown in Figure six. Okay, thank you for your attention. Thank you very much. Uh, maybe one question, if there is one. Uh, thank you very much. It's not question, it's uh, uh, actually comment. Uh, uh, what's uh, uh, shown as the interesting results, uh, uh, I'm sure this is about uh, a so-called solvability condition. The, you cannot solve Laplace equation without that solvability condition. And uh, in your case, solvability condition means that the integral of deflection over the plate is equal to zero. So it's a, there are yes. no such condition for dry plate, but for plate in water, yes. it should be expected. And this is because, as you said, there is no infinity. You can uh, uh, put everything on the infinity, but your origin is uh, bounded. So this is, this is that problem. But that condition should be incorporated from the very beginning into the numerical scheme. If you do not do that, then you have that problem and you need to deal with the uh, uh, wave equation. So that's first. Yeah. And second, your geometry with the vertical walls are uh, there is the so called Adamar equation. For such geometry with vertical walls, but with uh, of infinite depth, the uh, uh, deflection of free surface is related to the pressure on free surface through, that is funny, through the plate equation. So the same equation you, you used for the elastic plate. So even without elastic plate, there is a plate equation. So you can find in papers, but uh, no, no, in textbooks, but could be not in modern textbooks. So you should go to the 50s, 40s textbooks okay, for that. There you. is a funny, uh, so the, there is interesting equation for your geometry. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Uh, we need to go forward.